Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Anthony Chapel with Part 9 of Bioshock Infinite Let's Play. Last time we left off, we just entered Chin's uh, workshop kind of thing. And um, like I said in the last part at the end, this is the kind of this is the part where the game kind of gets confusing. Um, I just hope you guys enjoy. Continue on. Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Doc. Excuse me. Now I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Melin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where where is this club? Booker will find it. Just leave her be. We'll get your husband Why back later. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Who is the Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Alright. Continue on with the story. The Puzzle of Deal. Hope you guys are liking the game so far. Um, I think we're in the middle of the game, so it should be ending soon. That means I'm gonna have to, uh... Maybe do another let's play, maybe just record some more games with my friends. Friends, but I also got some future four videos that I'm just going to do, hopefully. So. so you beware the hyena. Crazy man, over there! Oh. This is also the first time we fight a handyman, awesome. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Jeez, these things are tough, dude. I forgot how tough they were. Oh my goodness. Give me up. Nice. Nice. There you go, there you go, there you go. Ow, they're dead. Oh crap. He speed off. He speed off. Ah. Yeah. Oh crap. Yeah, we took out our first handyman, guys. I don't much care for you, Mr. Dwight. I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. Oh, the tank cannon's not that bad. I'm just gonna head inside and find Mr. Lin. Just call me. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. Call me if I changed your sense of that. Jobs are tough. Alright, let's go find Mr. Chin, guys. First handyman down. That was pretty hard. I forgot how tough they were. I haven't played this uh, game in a while. But, yeah. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the series like I was saying. I've been enjoying it. I'm gonna try to upgrade this hand can. I like it. Might use that. Guess I can't upgrade it. Since the other day at the lottery, you're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. Oh great, we're having a big you fight again. Think. My labor unrest is coming to it. Now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton Open. like you. Right. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> That get the ammo real quick. Last pick can only I'm gonna die a couple of those. Right. Hand cannon and pull one hand cannon. How about right, I think we're good, we're good, we're good. It's a former devotee of Lady Comstock! But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Pick this one. Go ahead, the there you go. Fair. For a song. Where is it? There it is. Yes! Quite the Down. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty bad. I'm gonna go with the RPG. There. On it. Oh. Oh, no. uh, uh, I think I'm gonna go with this thing. Comes to replace all our security with machines. Yep. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. <laughs> Tank cannons bomb. Here you go. Right. Rejoice. Damn. 
Oh my god, what else is there? Oh my god. I wasn't quite sure you were the man I mean, for the job. But now I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Maybe now, I am. Now I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but uh, I promise you this. I will get what I want. You're not. Never. Look, there's a door over here. Uh, oh. I think that's the way down. Oh, no, no. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. Easy. This guy. Hmm. Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. I think I uh, I remember playing my other playthrough. Um, when I didn't kill Slate back in uh, a couple episodes ago, he would have been on this prisoner list, and he would have been tortured like uh, Chen Lin is right now. So I, I did uh, him a favor by killing him. Locked. Elizabeth. <sighs> Child's play. I used to work for folks like Fink. I was with the Pinkertons. They call us and the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. All done. What was that? Double kill. This hand cannon's a boss, dude. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. You know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Oh, what's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. They treat them like animals. To tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man. And deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it what not? What have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? See if we got any loot up in here. Ooh. Ooh, got some gear. Okay. Decrease weapon reload time by 30%. I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm tired of, sorry, I'm stuck my laptop down. I'm tired of using the uh this kind of hat, you know, switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Sure. And I like reloading faster. Let's see how fast it is. I'm fast, dude. Yeah. I'm pretty fast. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Oh, this won't take long at all. This Hopefully. Is it, isn't it? Yep. it won't take Number long. Nine. There you go. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> Lions walk with lions, do it. Not hyenas. 
Alright. Like I was saying, this is the part where it gets kind of confusing. Hopefully you, uh, keep up. <laughs> Now we need to find Wait, someone been tortured else. like that if I didn't kill him. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Who the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. See that? If we go into this tail. Be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? If I could open this tear and go back into another dimension where he's still alive and he was never tortured, so I either go into that dimension or stay in this dimension where he's already dead, but I need him alive so I can get weapons. So it's just a little confusing, but yeah, that's, that's practically what's going on right now. Another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Get back. I'll shoot you off. Get back. Get back. Sorry, I had to do that, guys. I needed them to get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Okay, maybe that was a little too harsh, but you know, they didn't get back. Daisy Fitzroy. Come on, you piece of horseshit. Tell me about Daisy. Cut him loose. What? Scarfield says cut him loose. Then bring his tools to the lockup. Uh, keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chief's wife got friends in high places. Come on. We need to sell. <laughs> I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change them. Something like that. And everything else remain the same. I don't know what that's going on to. What was wrong with them? I remembered. I remembered what? Being dead. What is going on here, Sasquatch? Have my head of security. 
suspect. You're one to find out. Help these two slip past your men and what they were doing in the basement. A little gruesome. That's a little gruesome, yeah. Sorry for burping. Probably up there. I hear him though. Aha. Uh -huh. That man you just met. In the other world, he was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. I thought that was a uh, thank you. Appreciate it. We are leaving the Good Time Club to go back to the Platinum Zeal. So, do you guys kind of understand the confusing part of that? Hopefully, you guys do, because, you know, we can't really communicate unless through the comments. You guys want to leave a comment if you're confused or something? That's all up to you. But, let's continue on with the story. Hey. Now, Jeremiah Fink has a philosophy. You see, your company is like... No points! whose purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures. Then, you have to get out! Oh, you can't do it. Help! Oh, she was gonna give me hell. God damn. There you go. Yeah. Well, let's get some ammo. I buy lockpicks here. No. I really have something else in this stupid carbine. I don't really like the carbine. I have to deal with it since you know. Nothing really else. Hold on to this. Much obliged. Uh, let's go kill those people. Is this a shop? No. Father's guide us! I hate that guy over there. He's like powerful. I 
tank cannon's not a bad gun, it just puts in more ammo. Oh, Paul Shepard. <laughs> That's fun. Alright, we're going back into his shop to see if he is in here so we can um, get those weapons and get our ship back. Hopefully he's in here. Ah, oh, it's something next. That was great. Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. The shrine? It's a figure of Comstock now. What the... Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... If... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in... In some way, he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Do I shoot him? I don't want to shoot him. Kill my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I uh, Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was Booker. This is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe. <laughs> If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Shit. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this part 9 of Bioshock Let's Play. I don't know if I said that at the beginning of the... The, uh video or not but this is part nine and leave a like and don't forget to subscribe